Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, we have some new characters walking to school right there, but before we check them out, I want to read you guys a list of things that I personally want to check out in today's episode. So here we go. Yandere Dev has added five new characters and two personas. When school atmosphere is over 80%, the photography club's leader has casual, carefree dialogue when you're talking to him about joining his club. Below 80% his dialogue will change and get more serious. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will spend all their spare time in their club room. Under 80%, they will briefly meet in the club room at the beginning of the day, and then they will spend the rest of their time hunting for the culprit who has been causing problems at school. After 5 p.m., they will reconvene at the club to discuss what they've learned. They will hunt for the culprit by visiting each student in school individually and checking each student one by one to look for danger or suspicious behavior. During this process, they will also visit the player to observe what they're doing. The advantage of joining the photography club is that if you're a part of their investigation team, they won't consider the possibility that you might be the killer they're looking for, so they won't bother to investigate you while they are paying a visit to every student in the school. The club leader is unique. Because he uses the hero reaction instead of the social butterfly reaction if he sees you commit murder while school atmosphere is over 80%. And, if a member of the photography club reports you for murder and you get away with it, they will inform the rest of the club. On every subsequent day, the entire photography club will follow you around school at almost all times so they can catch you doing something incriminating. So those are all the things that I personally want to check out in today's episode, so no more talking, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, cause here we go. So here is the photography club guys and we're gonna check out the club leader first i'm assuming he's the club leader because nothing screams douchebag more than a red scarf around your neck so let's see what his name is it is furedo Jonzu. his personality is a sleuth his club is photography obviously his self-defense is strong so is his hair game it's looking fabulous he is the leader of the photography club he has no interest in photography wait what no interest in photography? Then why the hell are you in the club? And uses the club room as a place to read manga, eat snacks, and goof around with his friends. Yeah, this guy is definitely a fuck. Prefers to spend his time slacking off, but when he actually gets serious about something, his resolve is unbreakable. But the next person we're gonna check is this Harriet the Spy four-eyed freckled freak right here, and she won't stop moving so I can't take a picture of her. Get in my camera! Okay, there you go. Baruma Dinkuri. She is also a sleuth. She is one of the most hardworking and intelligent students in school. Can get so obsessed with studying that she forgets to take care of herself. Her flaws are balanced by the strengths of her best friend, Dafuni Bureku, and vice versa. Okay, so who is Dafuni? I'm assuming that this guy is Dafuni because he's looking pretty Dafuni looking. Bruh. So can you please get in my camera? I'm trying to take a picture of you, bro. There we go. And he even has green chin pubes. I can't believe that. Rojasu Noribiro. He's also a sleuth. He is the most laid-back student at school. Never takes anything seriously and is relaxed at all times. Despite being lazy most of the time, he cares deeply about his friends. And if any of them were in danger, he would leap at the chance to protect them. Okay, so since that guy's not Dafuni, I think this is Dafuni right here. Yup. Dafuni Bureku. She's incapable of self-defense, and she grew up with maids and butlers taking care of her every need. Highly concerned with her appearance and clothing at all times. After befriending Baruma Dinkuri in junior high, the two of them became inseparable, despite being polar opposites. Wait, there's one more person that we haven't checked yet. It's this guy. Sakubi Dooby Doo. Wait. Sakubi Dooby Doo? Peruma? Daphne? Fred? I'm a dumbass. So now that we checked everybody in the photography club, let's go in there right now. Let's see if there's anything new added. And then let's see how they act in here. So photography club. Oh my goodness. This is dope. This actually looks so legit. I'm glad that everything's in black and white. Well, except this place. These are... Chipu. They're potato chipu. So once they're all here, they're just sitting down, chatting, cameras around their necks without a care in the world. Let me talk oh, to this guy. Hey. Welcome to our little getaway. <laughs> Okay, let me join the club. Oh, hey, you want to join us? That's cool. The more the merrier. If you join the photography club, you will have access to more camera options and you will not be considered suspicious when taking photographs of students' faces. Will you join the photography club? Yes, I will. Sweet. Help yourself to some snacks if you'd like. Okay, so now that I have this snazzy new camera around my neck, do I actually use it when I take photos? Let me see something. Let me go into third person. And nope. I still use my phone and I have a bald head. So not only do I have a cool new camera around my neck that I don't use when I actually want to take pictures, I also have a shiny bald head. But the two things that I'm the most excited about about this photography club are the club activity 
and also when there's a murder in the school, they all become a bunch of junior investigators. So I want to see how they operate when stuff like that happens. So let's get to it. Okay, so the cool thing about the photography club is that atmosphere plays a big part in how seriously they take themselves. So if the atmosphere is at 100%, they're happy, they're jolly, they talk about manga, they eat chippus all day. But as the atmosphere gets lower and lower and there's some crime in the school, then they become a team of high school investigators and then they take themselves very seriously. So right now the atmosphere is at 100%. So we're gonna talk to the leader right now. Oh, hey, welcome to our little getaway. <laughs> Wanna chill with us? I wanna chill with you all day, baby. Cool, pull up a seat. This guy is so cool. I'm liking his vibes. He just has good vibes all around. The photography club eats snacks, read manga, goofs around, and talks about nothing in particular. I like that. I like the photography club. They're chill. They're just like me. Okay, guys, so I wanted to lower down the atmosphere so they could all start being an investigation team once they found a dead body. And apparently, this is how they solve the murders. <laughs> this is how the photography club operates, guys. Once they see a dead body. We got four of these guys spinning in circles. We got one of them sitting in midair on her phone right there. And yeah, guys, this is your investigation team. All right, but seriously, no more of this mumbo jumbo. I disposed of my knife. I cleaned up my uniform. I changed my clothes. I have no evidence on me. So we are going to end the day and we are going to see how they start to investigate. There we go. These guys are starting to get on edge. They all have their phones out. I don't know why. Like, why do they all have their phones out in their hands? Shouldn't they have their cameras out? Oh, this guy's looking mad. He even has his hands in a grip like he's grabbing some big old titties. What's going on with him? Let me talk to him real quick. Let me compliment him. Put a smile on that face. Whoa, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you so much. No problem, Blondie. I'll meet you up in the photography club, and then let's see the action begin. Oh, that is so cool. That wasn't here before, but they're starting to practice. Like, they're putting those crime scene things right here. They even have an outline. Are you kidding me? Okay, so now that the atmosphere is all the way down, let's talk to hey, this guy. do you need something? Yeah, I want to talk. Later today, sometime between 5 and 5.30, we're going to meet up and discuss everything we've learned. You're welcome to join us. Okay. And now I think they're starting to go investigate. So let's see this. This is what I'm here for. This is why I joined the club. Wait a minute, why is she here? Get out of here, we're trying to investigate and you're blocking the cork board. But the guy I think I'm gonna follow around for the investigation is the leader of the group, just because he has that determined look on his face. So let's see who he goes up to first because his eyes are wandering right now. Just look at this guy. Once there's a murder in the school, you do not want to be around this guy because he will sniff the clues right out of your ass. And just like his description says, when he actually gets serious about something, his resolve is unbreakable. And apparently his grip is too. Wait a minute, guys. I think now would be the perfect time to put a body inside the photography club. So let me spawn a student. Get him real quick. There we go. And I got to put him up there real quick. All right, here we go, guys. They're all coming up. I'm going to hide right behind here. Even though I don't think they would suspect me because I'm in the photography club, right? Let me see. I'm gonna stand in front of the body. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, is that a dead body? And now they're taking pics of it and running away. So before they just reacted to it, now that the atmosphere is lower, they're all taking pictures of it so they can get concrete evidence, and then they run away like puss pusses. But anyway, guys, after the photography club investigates around the school about the murders, they will go back to the club after 5 p.m. and they will talk about what they found. So let's see what they're talking about. Hey. Do you need something? We're ready to begin sharing the information we gathered. All right, let's do it. Beginning club activity. What? <laughs> Where the hell did that voice come from? The photography club discusses the clues that they've gathered so far and theorizes about who the culprit could be. Well, these guys are dumbasses because the culprit is sitting right in the middle of them. You know what? Let's get the leader of the club to be the one to witness us eliminating Midori because he's the head of the club anyway. And actually, this is not a good spot because there's too many people around. I got one bully over there. I got the student council girl over there. So I'm just gonna wait for these guys to go up the stairs and then we are gonna do it right here because it seems like a good spot. So let's hold them down. Hey, stop, stop moving. Hey, stop moving because I'm about to do this, son. <laughs> there we go. He's running circles around me. Oh shit, what? Oh my God, he's trying to apprehend me, okay. Let's go. You want to go? Do you want to go? You don't really want to go. You're not about that life, buddy. Let's go. But now I have no witness. So how do I get them to notice me doing something bad then if they try to apprehend me? Or was it just the leader? Let me see here. Actually, no. Let me not get Midori. Let me put that ass down. Oh my god. Where the hell were you? No. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Fuck. You know what, guys? We're just going to use Sakubi as the guy to notice us eliminating somebody because I forgot that the club leader can actually take you down and Sakubi won't do jack shit because he doesn't have big hairy balls like the club leader. So I think this is a good spot right here. 
right in the middle of this floor. We're just gonna end her life, boo! Mm. Oh my god, this can't be happening! And this little red-headed puss bag's not gonna fight me. There you go. Okay, so this is perfect. We're gonna forgive our sins. There you go. And then we're gonna end the day, and let's see what happens. Okay, guys, so it's the next day, and as you guys can see behind me, they're all stalking me. All five of them. Jesus looking Christ! Looking at me like they want a piece of this Yanchan booty meat. And every time I turn around and get close to them, they run away like little puss pusses. And they're just behind the door. They're just right there. They can all see me still. Are you serious, guys? Are you really serious? Every time I get close to them, they run away. But then, they start to turn around again, and they're all looking at me again. This is the greatest thing that has ever been implemented in this game. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even trying to be funny. These guys just looking at you, and then you getting close to them, and then running away. That is the best thing ever. These guys will literally never leave you alone. Even if you get close to them. Let me see if I can talk to this Don't guy. Don't talk to me. I know you killed someone. I'll make sure everyone knows what you've done. Damn. That guy said that with some sexiness in his voice. What about you? Let me get close to you. No, hey, I'm gonna Don't talk to you. Don't talk to me. I know you killed someone. I'll make sure everyone knows what you've done. What about you? I wanna hear your voice. Don't talk to me. I know you killed someone. I'll make sure everyone knows what you've done. Okay, so since my stalkers are right up my Japanese butt cheeks and they're waiting for me to slip up, I'm gonna give them exactly what they want because I wanna see how they react. Got my naifu, ending the laifu, and they're all taking pictures, of course, with their cell phones and not with their DSLRs. And they're gonna pin me because that's just what they do. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. We have the Photography Club. We have five new members. You can turn them into stalkers if you do something really bad. If you guys have any comments, questions, challenges, or myths for my Yandere Simulator myth series, make sure you guys leave them in this comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!